He doesn't like fruit, okay? He's allergic. Yeah, that should do it. He's not running fruitcake, guys. Double bungee plumber for the save. That's a 16-4. Three cost 16-4, guys. No! Do not bungee. Yes! <laughs> we won! Easy. <laughs> Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the OTK ringleader deck. Uh, this was a meme, and I think we're going to be able to pull it off non-ironically today. Mushroom ringleader is a very high potential card. Uh, but is of course very risky. If you play this on an empty board, this has zero tech and one health. One other plant that will have two, two other plants will have four. Very hard to really get value out of this. The idea of this deck is to have a lot of plants on the board. We're going for at least three or four plants, in which case this will have a huge amount of attack for a three cost card. Three other plants will make it have six, four other plants eight, four, uh, five other plants will be up to ten. Uh, and then hit him with a great power, which will double the attack of this, and then either use Time to Shine, which does a cheap bonus attack for one, or um, Plant Food, which will do a big bonus attack. Now, the way that we're going to try to consistently uh, make full boards is by running Pine Clones and Onion Rings. This will both turn all of your little guys into big guys. This will turn everything on the board into a 3-3. This will make everything that you play... Uh, in your hand after the onion rings be a 4-4. Four, four. This also makes the ringleader itself start off as a 4-4, four, four. so this will gain two attack on top of that. So even just three other plants on the board, all of a sudden mushroom ringleader is a 10-4, uh, and then you double that and it'll become quickly become 20. So we're going to try to pull that combo off. Uh, for the early game, we are running cards that may, are, have team up and are able to put many minions on the board for cheap. Shroom for two is a good example of that. Puffshroom works really well with both Pine Clone and Onion Rings. Click is just a really overpowered one drop, uh, and we're running three copies of the Velociradish Hunter. Again, puts beefy uh, team ups on the board that will either become three through Pine Clone or a four four that spawns a one three with Onion Rings, so that's good. Let's get right into the deck. Hope you guys enjoy. Is the balance correct? You know what? I'm gonna. Because I don't want to get bricked with the ringleaders, I'm going to make one little change, and I really think that having more team-ups is going to help the three ring... I'd rather have three good ringleaders than four bricked ones, you know? All right. So you can see the background's a little bit different. I am uh, in a... back in Toronto, back in Canada after a long winter in Mexico... Uh, doing a little short-term rental, and I do have an apartment. I'm so happy I finally found one in the rip-off real estate, <laughs> real estate market of Toronto, Ontario. It's really, really bad over here. Only reason I'm living in the city is because of my kids, not gonna lie. Would never live in Toronto otherwise. <laughs> All right. Uh, this looks pretty good. Let's do some bets. If you think we are going to win, uh, let's do 10 games. I want to give this a real shot. So if you think we're going to win, 8 out of 10 vote yes. 7 out of 10 is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash. Fry up. I'm feeling good about this sec. Is click P on 1 a good idea? Or do we save it more for setting up for the Pine Clone? I think we're going to... I think we're going to go for it. There we go. A uh, little more Pine Clone Charge, which is awesome. What is he doing here? Bruh. Gotta very blast the three damage. Put Con Man in there. Uh, so let's try to set up the Shroom for two here. We do need a leap. Big mushroom energy. <laughs> exactly, Crimm. Thank you for 19 months. Uh, this this should go well. I think we'll just play the uh, the Raptors. We might have a turn five Pine Clone. This these are anyway better with second Pine Clone or Onion Ring that comes later. So, arts of Strike Through. That's fine for now. 
So we're going to be able to get a pretty beefy pine clone here. No sign of ringleader yet. You gotta do it though, right? Roar, roar. Um, alright, so that changed our plan a little bit. We don't want this two damage going face here. You could have final mission, but it doesn't matter. It's going to be Shroom for it's gonna be Puff Shroom and Pine Clone. Instead of playing here, now the, the, the flame face anyway will take one damage from the barrel. And uh the con man dies for free here, so these two Pine clones should be, you know, at least 3-2 here. Unless he is deadly. Ugh. Well, that's actually not going to go through because the flame face is going to be dead. That was not actually a very good play by him. I think I would have kept the flame face alive there, right? And then at least the con man will do one damage to two things. Supposed to doing, you know, two damage to one thing. I don't, I don't think that was right. Here's ringleader. Speak of the devil. So, he's got four sun in here. I mean, the chance that we could YOLO this is only six damage, though. <sighs> what do we do? He'll probably play a trick of some sort. I think we're going to do this a little more patiently still. And we would like to see What's time to shine fire? before we play the ringleader. Thank you, Polly Foxify, for 14 months. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so much damage. Please don't roll a one. Please don't roll a one. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is time to shine. Guys, are we pulling it off? Hold on. One, two, three. So it's going to have six. Ten. Oh, I just... I mean, it'll probably be good enough, right? We can also go for... Hold on. He'll have six. Ten. And one. He'd need a final mission just to survive here. Which anyway wins. I mean, a bungee would... Well, a bungee wouldn't do anything. Alright, let's go for it. Screw it. <laughs> Guys, we're going to pull it off on the first game. I'm so pumped. I mean, if he has a final mission or a bungee, they go face and win anyway, right? So if he doesn't have one of those, it's lethal, no matter what. We got him? Yeah! Uh, uh, he still has a chance? Do not top the final mission. Oh my gosh, do not. Do not. Yes! Yes, we did it. Yes, we did it. <laughs> oh, TK Ring Leader! <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Bruh. And just like that, we are 1 and 0. <sighs> if that was Bungie, I would have been mad. Mad. All right, that was awesome. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him on the first game. <laughs> A TK ringleader, let's go. <laughs> that was really close. Here's Super Brains, he like to be very aggressive against. Uh, if we really still need some kind of flying clone or something. I wonder if you keep up for him. Anyway. Yeah, power of ringleader. I wonder if I shoot for two that. I don't think I do. I think him drawing the card. This ends up being like a 6-6 six, six later. If we get Pine Clown. No space time. I'm more afraid of Headstone Carver. Getting tempo on this one card draw. Interesting that he didn't cover it though. Why would he not cover it? Is he going for this as a pirate? Okay, we got Onion Ranks now. So this is probably either Swashbuckler or Flame Face. 
I'm gonna do this, and even if it's flame face, we usually block and kill the flame face here. I think this is gonna be fine. There's no need to save this for three more turns for the onion rings. And a swashbuckler, kinda read him like a book there. No! <laughs> okay. The block. The meteor get wrecked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I could have saved that and done it next turn and gotten two more damage here. Eh, probably not worth it. So now what's the play? We do nothing. Nothing to do here. It's a strike through. Deadly maybe? Okay. If that's how he uses his deadly, I think we're cool with that. He has a one cost 2-2 two, two strike through on the board. I don't really care. Okay, we're getting somewhere. So because this is deadly, I'm just gonna do this here. It could be a line dancing zombie. Pretty high chance. Come on, stealthy imp. Okay. We're still taking five damage here, and he's stealing our blocks, which is annoying. Knowing we can actually use the stream for two to take this out, because unless he gets another flame phase, which he would have played this turn. You know, unless he top decks it. Oh, something's happening here. When she ring on my leader till I out. What did he say? <laughs> when she ring on my leader to like OTK. Okay. <laughs> now, I sort of wish I could get away with playing the, the mushroom ringleader here. There's also some weird play where we, well... I have to, I basically have to play it defensively though, you know? And play it defensively I shall. I really do have to commit it though, which is so sad. Maybe we'll get another one. It's kind of nice having these little shrooms here though. I gotta commit the ringleader. It's too. We can't take six damage here. I'll save. All, I'll do all this in like one turn once we proc his block. We're in really good shape here though, because he's gonna. Well. We're still on a two-turn claw. That's a little sad. We still haven't procced the block. Hello, nurse! Out of where, though? This is what he got from Barry Treasure. That's really sad. So if we go with... I mean, we have to block it. We, we might actually need this whole strat in the end. So this always happens. We need a leap! We need a leap! Like this will go to... Hey Fry, congratulations on 100k subs. Thank you. I mean, what about the, the blocks and the chops and all this stuff? I sort of want this to die. Like, we, we played three here, so next turn we'll have eight, so we we can play all of this next turn. Oh, this will be three plus three. Oh, this is fine. Oh no, it's only two plus three. Let's misplay that. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we are getting significant. As long as I don't get a super brain super here, we should have him pretty low. Well, super brain super is going to win anyway. I just threw that one, guys. I'm sorry. Wait, there wasn't an actual way to kill the Garg. It was three. We couldn't go three, one, four. There was actually no way of playing around block Super Brain Super, so I don't even feel as bad now. That's too bad. Because we had only had seven brains. So it would have been three. Three for the minion. Buffing it with... Captain Bustle would make it four, and we'd only have three left. No, there's no way. Well, no. If we would have Captain Combustible and then doubled the back one, uh, we actually could have done it. And I should have. The The play was to grow... Play... Th it was three... No, we didn't have three, one, and four. We had three, one, and three. So three in the... Okay, so you play... 
You play the Raptors in one, you grow the back one with Captain Combustible Super to make it five, and then you double it with Great Power to make it ten. It's just so much of a commitment, and then he blocks and chops it. But, uh, yeah, it still would have been better to play around his super. Oh, well. Fine clone. Oh, looks good. <sighs> so this is either teleportation zombie. No, drone engineer. Cool. Uh, with Pyclone and Onion Rings in our hand, it makes this a little interesting. So there's Meteor. It's probably just this. And then Pyclone. And then Onion Rings. And we'll draw two cards to use for the Onion Rings between now and then. This should be fine. Drone Engineer will actually have three attack. Oh. Come on, it's a huge rolling stone. This drone engineer also goes up to three, so when we pine clone, it'll actually kill one of them. Kind of annoying. We can probably meteor this next turn. Fry him up, you're my father figure. Huh? Thank you, Fry Molly, for 12 House months a year. Also happy one year of subbing to my favorite Twitch Thank streamer. Thank you so much. Three. Coming along. Big move days on April 1st. We need a leap. We need a leap. CrossFit. We made it to seven years last month. Thank you, CrossFit. Wait. Seven years. Seven times 12. Seven times 11 is 77, plus seven is 84, right? Seven times 12 is 84. No, I think the. Oh, okay. 84 months. No, I think this is it. I think you got it already, bro. What do I do here? What do I do? Do I just onion rings? Well, what is he gonna play? Healthy trait? I, I don't know why I can't do math right now. Seven times eleven is seventy-seven plus seven is eighty-four. No, happy seven years, CrossFit. That's all there is to it. Oh, I can smell the, the ringleader right now. And it smells good. So how do we do this, though? Do I not ringleader yet? Waha. We'll have three plus four next turn. I don't know. Do we play around Rocket? How do I do this? Thank you, keep. How do I play this? I, I Do I just YOLO it now and then hope he doesn't have a rocket science or a chop or anything? Did he play a superpower even? No, he hasn't played a superpower. Nerf, chop, rock wall. He hasn't played any of them. He would have used one, so he has chop. He like always has chop. I think that's it. Cryo brain. He hasn't used a superpower. It's rock wall, nerf, heal. He could have heal too. Either has healer chop, because nerf the for the other two. Oh wait, did he nerf this one? Am I just high or what what is my problem? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Line dancing's happening. It goes to one, I guess. He must have nerfed the pine clone though, so I don't know what I'm smoking tonight.
He used nerf. Five, six, seven. This will go up to ten. I don't want to get rocket science here. Now I'm playing around that. No, we're not going to have any minions left. Oh. Yeah, he obviously played nerf because there was a pine clone there that had zero attack. I'm just not paying attention, so. Time to get my head in the game. I need to keep that straight. Hi, Fry. I'm nah, just tired. It's been a really, really long week looking for an apartment. Two weeks, actually. Uh, he did play a trick, which makes the Black Eyed Pea live. I don't know why he did that. So now do we have it? N. Buff. Plant foods. As long as he doesn't play in lane 4, we got him here already with just two minions. The onion ring idea... Come on, man. Come on, what is he gonna Bad Moon Rising? Anyway, well, I don't have a choice at this point. So I do YOLO this? Nah. Maybe doing that in one was better. If any of these live, smash for not the win. Deadly from some from chemist. Then he rolled a one. It's my bad, guys. Whatever. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this deck justice. I think this is better than I'm playing it. A lot better. Too bad. I'm out of I'm out of my groove tonight. I, I you know, haven't streamed in a little it's been two weeks since I pro had a proper stream, so I'll get back get back into it. Come on, come on, come on. Where is this guy going smash? Nowhere, because we have an onion ranks in here, obviously. La 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 Okay, this we can commit. This is going for tricks. Even though his tricks are usually just like rolling stuff. Okay, he's got bucket bay, guys. So do we do the pine clone first? I suppose we do the, the pine clone first. Not to bears. 
in the bucket bay. <laughs> I don't know why. Do you want a 3 3 this turn or a 4 4 next turn? I think because of Extinction Event, we're going to go for the 4 4 next turn. Might not even get a chance to 4 4 next turn if he doesn't have any answer here, though. Let's say he does, because otherwise he's taking all this damage, losing all these trades. It's all good. This. this can go here. I'll preserve the 4 4. Still doing 6 to face, which is great. Between the berry blast and the ambiguum, we really could have him next turn. He'll have to clog 1 and 4 for block lucky. So click P, click P is 3. Oh, yeah, we can empty this hand too. That's crazy. Hello. Whoops, this should have gone in front. Ah, oh, that was a bad play. <laughs> this should have gone in front of the puff shroom, obviously. And then the six damage would go face. The heal. The six would be lethal. It would be a thousand percent lethal. We can still berry blast him in the face next turn, so there's not really anything he can do about that unless he has exactly medic. Yes! Pinecloon's useless in this deck? Pinecloon just won us the game. Low key. <laughs> what kind of a... What, what? That's a really... I mean, you're entitled to your opinion, but that's a really awkward uh, time to say that opinion, you know? Literally after we just won from Punk Club. It's all about the timing, guys. It's not about your opinions. They're good, they're bad, you know? Who's, who's, who can say? It's all about timing. Yeah, let's just play for an onion ring soon. Dun, 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 dun. It could be not running Pine Clone and focusing more on the onion rings would slow the deck down, which would make the OTKs a little bit easier to pull off, but eh, it's nice to have a second. It's nice to have a second way of setting up your, your win. I mean, maybe it's just with team ups. Maybe you don't need Pine Clone. What do I know? Probably just a sumo. It's manga. I don't know what's going on here? Uh, 
La 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 la. So let's, we're gonna start with the onion ring this turn, and we've got a huge hands. I think we'll just. These arm rustlers are a little annoying. <laughs> just a little bit. We also have the ringleader here. Should I just go double face with this? <laughs> I don't know. These probably should just go double face, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll take four damage, but now we're doing eight. And we have a lot of steam in our hand. Okay, the man's running cake, guys. That's what's up. Now we're down to seven? Three, three, one. Uh, well, there's no way to open this up right now, so... We need a leap! We need a leap! Howdy. I mean, it's Bye. probably Shroom for two, Shroom for two, Ringleader, right? And then just time to shine and hope for the best. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Do we time to shine here? What if he has fruit cake? He doesn't have... What if he has another cake, though? He doesn't have another cake. The cake costs four anyway. This guy's not running fruitcake. He clearly saw something in the meta. And that's why he's running, uh... He's running right... He's just running cake. There's no fruit. He doesn't like fruit, okay? He's allergic. Yeah, that should do it. He's not running fruitcake, guys. Double bungee plumber for the save. Final mission out of nowhere. <laughs> Final mission the Kaga. He can still win. <laughs> That's a 16-4. Three cost 16-4, guys. No! Do not, Bungie. Yes! <laughs> we won! <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Rank 12. He didn't have fruitcake. If he would have had fruitcake, if he owned fruitcake, he would run fruitcake. It's not his fault. Double click P, let's go. That is a fine hand indeed. Okay. His turn one play, my turn one play. This is going awesome. Let's go! Whoa. So, turn one, click B, turn two, click B. A very difficult opening to be in. We have more steam where that came from. Whoa, jeez. Uh, we're gonna berry blast that next turn. That's kind of clever. You buff this turn. The problem, the reason why this would be a very good deck if it weren't for just, okay, bye. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> See you later. You know? Nerf Puff Shroom, to be honest. I agree with that. Not even a hot take. Just spitting facts. Puff Shroom S tier. I don't think it needs a nerf. I, I like that it exists, but... You know, because it's a fun... It's not, like, overpowered. Maybe it's a little bit. Oh, if he plays one more main... Well, do I just plant food this? There's nothing better to do here, right? Yoink. Using a plant food when you have this in your hands? I don't know. Gotta get a pine cone or an onion rings. In this situation, we keep getting both pine cone rings, but in this situation, a pine cone would be hella good. Wow, he's still doing the thing with the snorkel. He's just all in on this one idea. Here comes the meteor now. <laughs> Too bad. He plays like a, I don't know, 5-5 five, five here. We'll buff this and I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. Actually, I'll probably play this buff it and front it with Puff Shroom. These Puff Shrooms are bricking us, not gonna lie. Alright, Flamenco for two. Let's go. <laughs> 
I'm gonna have to start spamming these. Um... Oh, we're just all in on this, aren't we? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm doing this now, too. Because he's down to zero. If he's going to commit like that, I'm going to take a bite out of his tush. Been a while. Out of the tush. Lost a few months, but almost to five years. Thank you, Al Manger. 58 months. Damn. That's oh, crazy. What is happening right now? There's a 4-4. Four, four. That's actually exactly what we needed. So I'll do this. Heights, grounds. What is this going to be? It's going to be freaking uh, Jester. And he's proccing the block. The roll of one, proc the block. And then still not win. Should I play around Nibble? Oh. It is Jester. Does he have an answer to this 4-4 four, four is the real question though. I played here for alien news. There's Bungie. Evaporate. Bruv! So if he rolls a 1 and we don't get Meteor, he wins. It's a 50-50. Don't roll a 1, first of all. We're going to want to block both of these. No, he rolled the 1. We didn't get Meteor, but we got time to shine. I guess it was fine. Either it was better, because now we win. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't get Meteor, in, in, in hindsight. Yes! Uh. This is literally what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so I didn't realize I was so tired. I thought it was full energy. I gotta get streaming during the day again, not waiting till night. <laughs> But you know what? I told myself I gotta just stream today. It's been too long. Uh, because of Extinction Event, I think we'll just go for the Onion. This is a fine hand. And Morticia typically doesn't play that fast. We don't have an answer to Cheese Cutter, unfortunately. Do I commit this here? I guess I should, right? Then we can bury blast next turn and then start onion ring. Onion ringing. No! Oh no! 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 Wow, I didn't play around that. This goes safe face for six now. We rolled a one. Ugh. I might have to commit a puff shroom here. What am I doing? What a, I have to play on bonus attack or something, man. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Uh, I I gotta take this out. It's too strong. That's really sad, though. There. Double beam me up. Is there anything that saves my uh, well, time to shine? Right? Oh, Meteor does too. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep a 4 5 on the board. That's definitely worth the Meteor. Alright, now we got the Black IP. Oh, this Pine Clone. <laughs> Alright, maybe I shouldn't run Pine Clone. <laughs> yeah, I'll just make it a 3 of. So do we stack these to face? If we do 8, we could probably get 8 next turn. I can also stack it here to protect ourselves, but... I think I'm just going face here. Yeah, Area 22 is good card. I don't like it. I'm going face. But 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 bonus Whoa, that's not good enough. Dang, that's close to being really dangerous. And go and face for a bunch, okay? Let's 
get it fix this train and then made four more to face uh it, a gadget scientist wins for him otherwise we're in really good shape can you not could you not wow he did it in the wrong lane oh wait block double three are you oh, wait ladies and gentlemen we're actually in business here how do we win this though I think we're good. I mean, did, does he have a superpower? Did he use a superpower yet? But we don't have a man in an open lane. Is it like the plan food? Anyway. Well, it's just like this. Whoops, I buffed her. I should have buffed this one. Uh -huh. Six, seven. I wouldn't have mattered. Let's place around alien is if we do this one. Well, no, you can't alien is. Does he have a superpower? Is it just evaporate? Is it oh, no, use acid rain. Oh, yeah, we went. Yeah, nipple didn't do anything. Yeah, we won. Never mind. <laughs> I can't remember the superpower he played two seconds ago. <laughs> but yeah, we got him, guys. <laughs> Did he play a superpower in the last 10 seconds? Let's, let's think. See, I don't know if I have to put this on YouTube because we're 5 and 2 casually with my foggy brain. This awesome deck that's not only Pine Clone Onion Ring. It has these weird ringleader combos. This deck is better than 5 and 2. We should probably be 7 and 0 oh by now for, for my tired ass. Do I put this on YouTube now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I mean, we can't really get rid of double puffsure money ring. Hopefully, we'll draw into the hands we need. And luckily, we have the cheese cutter answer here. I don't know what to do with this now. I hate... I, I, I'm, like, embarrassed, like, when I make bad plays when I'm tired. But maybe I shouldn't care. What do you guys think, guys? We're having a little fry him up. I've been out of the game for two weeks. Coming back, tired of the dog from... Oh, I've been so stressed out trying to find an apartment. It's been the stress. That's definitely what it's been. Coming back with this Banger deck, not playing it to its potential, not even close, but we're still 5 and 2. I guess I have to put this on YouTube, right? <laughs> ah, yeah, no, I'm playing like crap. I mean, it's, it's not, not even debatable. Yeah, I think we just tank the 4 damage. It's not a lot, and we'll just Onion Rings and go from there, man. Onion ring, puff shroom, puff shroom. So how do we do this? Like, stack them here? Like, I really don't like... This could be... It's probably binary stars. Onion ring, puff shroom, and sack a puff shroom. Alright. That looks good. Well... Because it's probably binary stars. Well, we can't make the puff shroom live. See, this is so awkward. It's so freaking awkward. We have to make our onion rings live. I'm, I'm pl gonna play around the uh, the binary here. It's just too much damage. Read them like a book. I mean, these are even trades, but it's still good to trade zeros into a four and a five, you know? And you can't have this going face for eight. We'll let him draw the card, but... There's no way to make the, this Puff Shroom, because this hunts, so you can't... And you have to play the Puff Shroom after, so... Yeah, there's no way to prevent that, so we just got extra four damage to face. We're good. Uh... 
I wish this guy would let me cook here. I really want to, like... Oh, come on. I mean, we don't have to play around hard removal. I can get the six. I can get one of these cards really, really big here. He can do with a final mission. He can final mission and fruit cake. Final mission does five, six. He probably doesn't have both, though. This is such an awkward play, but I think I'm going to do it. It's like this, and then we can do this stupid thing. Because now it's base of 6-6. Six, six. This goes up to 12-12 12, 12 now. Which Fruitcake does 7, Final Mission does 5. If he has both, he can kill it. Otherwise, we, we have this 12-12 12, 12 going face this turn. If he had final mission, he probably does that a long time ago. Okay, here we go. Yes! That'll probably be it, right? But we... <laughs> Look at this massive 10-10 we got. Very rare that we try to buff minions that much, but that was awesome. That's onion rings and great power being synergetic. You can do that with any hero, by the way. <sighs> Yoink. We're going phase for 10. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Hello, nurse. What's with nurse today? This guy, this one's just running nurse. So we got to proc his block here. So it's five and one. Uh, okay. I guess I'll do this here. Oh, wait. Oh, this goes up to 6-6. Six, six. Should, should we play on curve? kind of like it, actually. Alright. We play on curve. I, f I thought this would actually just be a 4-4. Four, four. It's a 6-6, six, because six, it has its own buffs. Uh, not a thing on our board even dies. We're down to 8. It's Boogaloo. The scariest hero to be down, you know what I mean? Down to eight again, so we'll see what happens here. So, this berry blast, and I kind of wish I would get another plant food or something. We could get like time to shine on the block. What superpower did we use? Who's in big in that weird play? Um, there's also super. Do we want to proc the block here? This always happens. I could make the good trade with the Shroom for two, but... I wonder if we want a block. Like, 4-4-4. Four, four, four. He passed with eight, though. I'm a little afraid of chickening as well, man. This plays around chickening, not playing it. Alright, let's go. Yeah, Shroom for two is way better than Nurse. I mean, that just proves it right there. Hey, little heals, frenzy. <laughs> okay, so he's bricked with area twenty twos. Bungie's that. Here's this meteor. We'll do that next turn. Make him think he has something. Could also end up doubling up here. Well, we got a meteor. So we'll use this. It does a little more damage if he fruitcakes. Oh, he's just so brick though, and this will proc the block and set up one of these four attacks. So two and four. I don't think we berry blast his face here, do we? This guy was running flamenco. Or he was running a. Uh... We kind of want to win here, actually, and none of his superpowers aren't going well. Anyway, yeah, we probably don't lose by Berry Blasting Face. We don't want him to do some weird flamenco. We only do have eight. Okay. So here's Proc the Block. Oh! <laughs> Perfectly bad backup dancers. That's gonna be the win. <laughs> yes! So he was just bricked. I feel like that was the binary 
like the OTK binary and just didn't get it. I don't even know, man. The key play, though, was seeing the turn 5 gravestone and playing around the binary stars. He would have actually done way too much damage that game if we had not played around that. So I made one good play today <laughs> and a lot of bad ones. <laughs> Doing fine here. Uh, okay. Onion rings, man. Crossbolt does nothing on turn one, as usual. Uh, it plays around Cryo Brain and Beam Me Up. I think I'll do it. And it plays in the Rolling Stone. Yes. So, really happy that... Now, he's gaining a brain every single turn. That's gonna add up, but at least we got... At least we got the punish, which is awesome. Don't drop that stonkin' on. So, do I have an answer to this? I actually do. And I gotta do it. Uh, do we want to keep a 3-3 alive that's not protected, or have the 3-1? I feel like the 3-3 is just a lot harder for him to deal with. So let's keep a 3-3 rather than a 3-1 and a 1-1. Because the he can just put anything in front of. Really nice. Uh, he went Cryobrain on 2, stomp, good old Stompin' on on turn 3. Stompin' on used to cost 3, by the way. That was so good, it was literally the meta. For those of you who have not been playing since, I don't know, 18? I don't know when that nerf happened. If you, instead of raptors, you do repeat moss? Eh, maybe. I think there's a lot of different versions of the stack. I kind of made like a stable version with the pine clone and the raptors. Um... So this is a really interesting situation. We could use the Grape Responsibility here. Has he used his superpowers? Heal, Chop, Rock, Wall. And I don't want to play into Chop. But playing both of these here means we kill Teleportation Zombie. Do the plant food, though. And it means it kills Chemist. What has he played so far? Stomp it on. Gonna not do it. Oh, yes. So happy I passed on that. <laughs> so, what? Okay, that's fine. It still loses the trade, but it loses one extra turn. Draws an extra card. Top decking a one drop is awesome here. Uh, I don't think we play around. I'm rolling a three. So let's do this. Let's put the pop shroom behind the onion ring because you want the onion ring dying. The pop shroom's better as team up. Okay, another cryo brain. Now he has chop. Could you not have an answer to this though? If we roll double ones, we win. I just really don't want to roll a three. I don't care if he blocks the three damage. We have plan food. Yes, we're good. So plant food, I mean, wins and just everywhere. In three lanes, we'll have a plant food now. So I think we're in a seven and two scenario. No. Uh. Well, we have. If he doesn't block lane one, we got this play. Oh no, we don't even have seven yet. <laughs> we. Dude, chill. Chillax. So plant food in one looks awfully good. I think we'll do it. And we'll do this. And this. Yes. All right, just like that. <laughs> this deck is low key very very good. It hasn't been. I'm really glad we ran four ringleaders because I don't like. We haven't, we've seen the ringleader a couple of times. It's been very good when we've gotten it, but the deck wins without the ringleader. You obviously don't want it to only be OTK ringleader. You want the onion rings and pine clones are carrying, and they are. We have three different ways to win with this deck. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna do the aggressive thing. The question is, should I look for like a pine clone? I think Berry Blast is is a fine, versatile card here. We'll draw. You know, we'll draw into some awesomeness later. But uh, yeah, let's let's play a little bit more up up tempo against the huge gigantic, especially when you got a good curve like that. Spam his face. He's not good at dealing with the. Uh, not good at dealing with the aggression. This is pretty good. Space time. So it'll be Black IP here. We can Meteor Black IP next turn. Punish the telephone. Should be good to go. Uh, yeah. Honestly, the two games we lost were flukes. This deck is so good. It was just my fault. So if he pass, hope if he completely passes, we'll go Black IP instead of Click Fee here. I think. For the punish. The click fee's so good though, too, man. Alright, so it's definitely click fee. Give him one of these. This is usually just gonna be like a gentleman zombie. So let's make the good trade. Same thing. We can go berry blast plus black IP to punch the teleport again next turn. Just three. HG Super gets punished at least, so that's cool. It's not the fast. So yeah, and he's Tellies. It's either HG, Freeze, or Guy. I think Guy he always spams in four there, so it's not Guy. Uh, it's either Freeze, which he could be saving for this turn. Actually, just another teleportation zombie, right? This Pyclone is not terrible. It re increases one health here and a 1-1 one, one here. It's not great either, though. I think this is fine. Uh, so Freeze may be saving for this Tomb Razor? Or HG Super, but I don't know. Honestly, even though the, the Black IP gains 1v1, I think you just spam your HG Super. It's so much better to play that sooner than later. This is probably the turn that we play clone. <laughs> Or not. <laughs> He's not going for freeze and four, right? He has to play a trick this turn. So I guess we don't find one. Yeah, I really thought it was going to be a teleportation zombie. Was not expecting Tomb Razor. Wasn't a great, great card there. So he always plays a trick. I just think the black IP being a 3 4, there's really no point in pine cloning. Now he's doing it. <laughs> okay, he's got laser base. A little cringe covering your own thing, and he'll get an extra gravestone out of it. It also kills the black raptor. The back raptor. <laughs> Spamming teleports, hoping for something good to happen. Looking for a prayer for an answer. Just a, Looking for a chump blocking, too, is what he's looking for. Got it. That's okay, though. It's just burning resources. Dude! And he had barrel. <sighs> Dang, it looks like he really just pulled that off the top of his deck, too, which is very sad. No blocks. So that died, but he's down to three. Uh, he's getting a... Here's the guy. His last power is going to be freeze. He makes it... Is there some way to cheat and figure out what's in this gravestone? Oh. Pine Clone might be good now. Doesn't hurt. We need a leap! We need a leap, guys. Pretty sure. And it burned all of his teleports there, too. Wonder if I'll have an answer to three damage. Oh, he just threw six down the drain. All right, guys, we completed it. Thank you to whoever just subscribed. It was Doggy. Welcome to the family. And that was it. <laughs> I mean, I have to put it on YouTube now, right? I have to. I absolutely have to. This was incredible. But I, I think the moral of the story is, is that even with my foggy brain, 
I mean, this deck was really, really good. I kind of wish we even saw a little bit more of the ringleader. And there's a lot, a lot of you guys had ideas. It could be your right. Slow playing it instead of playing clone running, you know, focusing more on onion rings. But uh, I don't really get running the pine clone. I think the pine clone did may overall make the deck more consistent. Because it gave us a way to win if you don't get your onion rings, man. Run repeat moss, maybe? Repeat moss onion rings is fun. This was cool. This was awesome. This was very, very cool. And uh, yeah, it was extremely effective. I, I think this could have been a 10 0 deck. <laughs> <laughs> Which again, I wasn't doing this on, late on a Friday night after two weeks of very long, stressful apartment hunting. But yeah, we did it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I guess it's going on YouTube. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.